Today we'll compare Kimi K2 and Claude 4 Sonnet with a code base of around 400,000 tokens. It's a nice mono repo with a .NET 8 API and a React front end. The app is an AI football prediction system with deep research. It gathers its own match data and automatically does research on them. It also stores historic matches in an Azure MySQL database. It searches YouTube for recent highlights of the fixture as well. The web version, yeah, doesn't look very cool yet. As you can see, the OpenAI API says we have insufficient quota, meaning we're out of credits. The API is using c -sharp -asp .net and the new Semantic Kernel AI Agents library. I currently have support for OpenAI and Google Gemini models and want to use open router models with Kimi K2 as the default. The model must have great tool use to make good quality research. In one editor, I'm going to use Claude 4 Sonnet. I find that easier to say than Claude Sonnet 4. I'm going to use Klein for both Kimi K2 and Claude 4. I'm going to limit the terminal context size to 100 lines because Sonnet 4 isn't cheap. In the second editor, I'm going to use Open Router with Kimi K2, which is quite cheap at 60 cents input and two and a half dollars output for a million tokens. Sonnet 4 is three and $15. So Kimi is around five times cheaper. I always increase the maximum consecutive requests so the agent can go on without my input while I do other research and coffee. We currently only have the Puppeteer MCP server set up and want to use the Context7 MCP server because the semantic kernel library is new and changes a lot. Let's add scope creep to our work item and ask both Kimi and Claude to quickly set up the MCP server for us. Kimi K2 has started with the setup by following Klein's MCP creation prompt. Kimi created a folder in the wrong working directory and thinks it's done. Not a great start. It's now trying to get help documentation to resolve the installation errors. One thing that's still annoying to me is Klein's imperfect shell integration with VS Code's terminals, but VS Code itself looked near perfect when I used them. Pro tip, Klein has settings like terminal timeouts, but RuCode has a lot more settings to try to fix the terminal integration issues. After Kimi made some imperfect terminal tool calls, it's now creating a misplaced file instead of sending tool calls to Klein. Let's see how Claude 4 Sonnet does with the same task in a different editor with Klein. That's a good start with the correct MCP file path. It issues an npm terminal command to install the MCP server, similar to what Kimi attempted. It's also following the Klein rules for creating a memory bank. Both models receive the same Klein rules. Claude 4 located and added the Context7 MCP entry into the correct JSON file. It cost 23 cents, which isn't cheap for such a small task, but it saved us time. It's testing the MCP server, and as we can see, it's working as it's supposed to. It retrieved the general React documentation and selected the official React documentation to retrieve. I tried giving Kimmy another chance, but it just couldn't get it right. Pro tip, never give an AI coding agent more time than you would a junior dev for a junior dev level task. Now that we have our Context7 MCP server set up, let's start with our first work item for the day, adding open router support. Let's start with Kimmy K2. 
I added the right file in the prompt so it doesn't waste tokens searching the code base. Pro tip. If you know some files that can be used for a change, rather add them directly into the context, it saves time and money. Time is money. While Kimmy is busy, we'll give the same prompt to Claude for Sonnet, so they work at the same time on the same machine. Their inference speeds look similar. Sonnet is immediately using the Context7 MCP server it created earlier to research about the semantic kernel library industry standards, which is a sign of an intermediate to senior developer. As opposed to wasting time trying out different code and trusting luck, While it's doing research, let's check on Kimmy's progress. Kimmy says it's done, but Klein noticed that there were some incorrectly formatted tool calls. To be a bit fair, Klein is optimized for Claude 4 Sonnet because it was called Claude Dev before with Claude 3.5. So Claude is expected to work a bit better with Klein. If we look at what Kimmy tried, we see that it had the right concept in mind with using app settings to store the open router configuration. However, it didn't use the right format for tool calls. In the previous video, Kimmy couldn't make correct tool calls in VS Code as well. Pro tip, Kimmy K2 currently works best in the Windsurf IDE. If we look at Git changes, we see that Kimmy didn't make any code changes. Let's get back to Claude. There are already some code changes to the program class. It's now requesting access to search the Open Router website for the correct model name for Kimmy K2. You can auto approve such requests. I disabled it so I can give tips in between. I switched to Anthropic and it's now approaching $2 of usage. In Open Router, Kimmy only used a few cents for all its interactions. If we check what changes Claude 4 made, we see that it added the right app settings. With the correct model ID and an API key field will set in production, as well as the correct base URL. It linked the settings using the options pattern then injected the open router inference support through dependency injection. If we look at the API logs now, we see that there's a null reference exception, but I know where it's raised and can fix the code myself instead of letting the model waste time. Pro tip, Windsurf currently has Kimmy K2 on a discount of half a credit for $15 a month, while Claude is two times the normal credit. Kimmy doesn't seem to produce valid and pure JSON in my application. Like with Klein, it's also including tool calls inside its response. I updated my short prompt to get Kimmy to be more strict when providing JSON output to my app. I don't think it supports structured outputs yet, though they are adding features to it quickly. I'll let you know. After that prompt change in my code, Kimmy produced valid JSON, and my work item is complete. My app now has more data because Kimmy does affordable research. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more real-life comparison of AI coding tools.